on anticipation of the Grand Tour's new series and the last series I believe they're even going to do, we decided to watch some of the Grand Tour's funniest moments. Now, Hamish has never seen it. Have you ever seen Top Gear? Nope. You've never seen Top Gear. What about Clarkson's Farm? Nope. You, have, you watched Clarkson's Farm, didn't you? I saw like 10 minutes of it. And you never watched the Grand Tour? I don't understand that. That's a weird one. That's a great show. I don't know much about cars, mate. It's not really about cars. Like, I don't watch it because of cars. Mm. You know? You'd suck off Jeremy Clarkson if he was in front of you, wouldn't you? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. All right. Let's watch the video. I've seen him on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah. Right? Oh. That's really inappropriate, Hammond. Don't do that. This is very difficult. Don't, don't do that, Hammond. Yeah! <laughs> Who's on me? Hammond, stop it! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! What's the donut? Stop it! <laughs> the guy on the back of the boat with the oars like, holy shit! <laughs> These boys are f***ing around, man! <laughs> Trying to get out of here! <laughs> so there's Richard Hammond. There's Richard Hammond, Jeremy Clarkson, and James May. Okay. Richard's the young one, and then you've got the two old guys. So in this video... Jeremy and James were playing the role of the two old guys that want to, they're in Europe somewhere, Italy or something. They want to play the two old guys that are like looking at ancient heritage stuff. And Rich is like the young guy who wants to get a V8 Mustang and floor through the middle of Europe. So that's why this clip is, you know. Is it like a watered down jackass? No, it's quite a lot of it. You will find a lot of it skit, but at the same time, sometimes natural things will happen. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's a very good show. This is Jeremy's house that they're blowing up because it's actually a real thing. When he was building a new house at his farm, where they filmed Clarkson's farm, they blew up his house as part of a thing for the Grand Tour. He lost a bet. So, yeah. Oh. Oh! I think this is that. Oh, I or it's... Digger. Oh, dear. With me out of action and James achieving nothing, a new approach was needed. But first, we had to clear the site of Jeremy's most treasured possessions. Shakira. 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 Oh! Why is this... Strong image. It's a tiny doll with pins in it. And your face. <laughs> well, look, this is his photo album. It's probably really precious. <laughs> oh, it's a bit disturbing. <laughs> They're all of me. Yep. At this point, we decided not to clear the site of his treasured possessions and moved swiftly to plan B. Short ceremony, say a few words. When they did this, there was huge drama because the people, the local people of Chippy Norton didn't know they were doing it. Mm. So there was this huge f***ing explosion. And he was like, what the fuck was that? No, they didn't tell anyone because they wouldn't let them do it. So they thought, what's well, it's done, it's done. So Right, okay, do it and ask <laughs> yeah, questions later. and they fucking did it and no one knew. And the cops were like, what the fuck? Like, that's a fucking huge explosion. I have absolutely no doubt that that got some people kind of worried. Mm. <laughs> and, like, on Clarkson's farm, he has to go around to the local town to get consent to build a new restaurant on the farm. And the old lady's like, hold on. Are you the one that's responsible for the nuclear bomb that went off behind my house? And he's like, yeah, that was me. They're like, fuck you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Problem was a small town. Everyone yeah. knows everyone. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take long for everyone to go. You're the man who blew up his house. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and they were saying about James and Richard didn't know it was going to be that big. That's why the um, expression towards it is like, holy shit, because mm. they didn't know either. Oh, 
his stomach lining. Not his stomach Further, lining. But where? Further back? Yes. Are you staring at the world through a cow's ring? <laughs> it is its anal passage. <laughs> but <laughs> stretched so thin <laughs> that it's completely transparent. Cow's ass, horse's ass. It's yes. perfect. <laughs> Come on. It's a lot better than what you two have done, which is nothing. What's this made out of? Have a guess. Is it mud? It's mud. It's a mud car. You got flat tires. So if you're confused what's mud. going on, they had to do a segment where they had to make environmentally friendly vehicles. Okay. So they had to use it out of materials that weren't, I don't know, something that, I don't know. That's sustainable. Yeah, yeah sustainable. I'm sure the vegans love germs. Yeah, that's, I think that's one of the reasons why they did it. They got people writing in about how they always do videos on V8s. And then someone said, we don't like it. So they're like, well, let's take the absolute piss and make videos that are sustainable. Mm. In these motorist accessory shops, you can buy inflatable people. We've got one here. Oh, very clever, this. Uh -huh. Very clever. Isn't it? I mean, the only slight issue is they do take a lot of effort to blow up. It's hard work doing it. It doesn't matter, though, because here's the thing. OK, if you arrive at one of those high-occupancy vehicle lanes, then you pull over on the hard shoulder, just past the duchy on the left-hand side here, and then use your engine to blow up. Your uh, your inflatable person. So I'm going to do that now, just to show you how how they allowed this to happen. I don't know. For something go wrong. No, but I don't know how they're allowed to have so many people in a room with a V8 engine and no earmuffs. Because mm. I don't health and safety in England. Is I think that guys just realise what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, he does. <laughs> You've got the, are we got the ready? ears blocked. Just, uh, oh, this. Put a bit of fuel in there, and here we go. Why have you put your fingers in your ears? It's only a V. <laughs> it's virtually silent. <laughs> there go. That's a good size. Oh. <laughs> That's a good size. <laughs> We're well, like bigger. You know She's what just I mean? had her guts ripped out, mate. <laughs> Back to That's out. normally what happens when you're with them. <laughs> I was about to congratulate her at this point. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's me, <laughs> you know. Jesus Christ, they got big. I'm looking at those angles, and they are gone. <laughs> they are gone. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, the um. The inflatable person has split. There's... Oh dear. Mine's all right. <laughs> but that. This is all I've got. That's all you need. Well, that is literally <laughs> it. Yeah, that's all you need. Well, are you going to photograph animals in this country? <laughs> that's, I... just, that's a pervert camera. No, it's a uh, Daily Mail. Jeffrey Epstein seemed to talk. He's not very keen on us helping, is he? This one, oh, sorry. This one isn't skit. These two sometimes genuinely lose their shit towards each other. <laughs> this is a special where they were in Bolivia or something, and they had to take these three cars across from one side of the country to the other. Mm. And like they were tired. <laughs> That's, I, I couldn't see lights, the bumper because I had my head right next to the thing. <laughs> Go on. Jesus Christ! Go. It'll all be fine if we spot a jaguar. Everything will be okay. Right. <laughs> Now we're in trouble. <laughs> Hammond! <laughs> you <laughs> moron! I didn't know you were there! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell are you doing? I was stuck! I didn't know you were behind me! He's not gonna do it. <laughs> Oh, I love it how it goes down the hill so perfectly. Just, oh. <laughs> 
steady, steady, and break testing James May. <laughs> Get. <laughs> You're not helping with the transport of live fish. <laughs> the transport That's of live So they had to That's transport it. live fish from one side of Africa to the other. Oh, yeah, as you do. Well, that was, it was food. So there was a village in Africa that needed food, as always. <laughs> And Jeremy had, his technique was get cooked fish, but somehow keep it from rotting. James was have a live fish in the back of my car. Mm-hmm. And Richard's was, I can't quite remember, maybe like a fridge or something. And it just, yeah, they tune up with, Jeremy turns up to the village with one half rotten fish. James doesn't have anything, I don't know what Richard had. <laughs> Such a petulant child. Oh, someone's fallen over in the road, nothing I can do. <laughs> Comfy, doesn't he? <laughs> 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 Look at him go! <laughs> That's what you get for encasing my car in ice, I guess. It's quite the speed going. Surely in. that's set up, is it? I don't think it is. Just, you can't push a man off the side of a hill. <laughs> well, they did it. Yeah, but what if it like rolled? Oh, well, they've got they got skis on the bottom of them. I think I know, they but like they put <laughs> things in place so it didn't turn well, or something. Yeah, well, I think it did genuinely happen. Because how else would they get that view of the whole thing shaking and everything? You'd remake it as a set and then yeah. put it on a little shaky plate. Maybe. Or just send him down to the James. James. What? Go down there and steal that Renault. Why? Because this is a car <laughs> show, we need a motoring element. Good point. Go. <laughs> Can you think of anybody on God's green earth less able to do this kind of thing? He's doing the twirl and then firing a random the shot. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> that's brilliant, I like that. But that's another <laughs> skill we're going to need today. <laughs> and he's been shot. 